Alright guys, welcome, it is me Jam Sankith and this is NASCAR Heat 4 once again. This time, it's not a championship season race, as, as I would normally do with other things, I'm just doing random races. Now this is a 14 lap race at the Daytona 500 obviously, with Ricky Stenhouse's NOS Energy number 17 for Roush Fenway, which is a paint scheme that came out yesterday. And yes, I'm starting at the back, I was going to say it's an overtaking challenge, but it's a super speed ray, super speedway race, so it's not like it's difficult to overtake really in a way. So I'm just going to start at the back and see where it goes. Um, I was hoping to start 40th, but a couple cars must have got thrown out of qualifying or whatever it was, or pro post uh, not post race, a pre race inspection and that. So anyway, beside the point. Let's go at Daytona for 14 laps to see where we can, well, the highest we can go. Um, hopefully the audio levels for everything will be fine I think it will be but um, yeah, yeah of course it was there and Denny Hamlin as well at starting at the back so might have a little help going to the front with, this, with the 11 it's one of my favorite Stenhouse paint schemes let's go we're underway I should have done really a night race with this car to be fair but it's a beautiful looking car there we go now I can change lane down to the inside behind Eric Amarola in the 10. Oh wait, no, that's not Eric Amarola. It looked like it was for a second. Who is it? David Reagan, okay. Yeah, David Reagan in the 38. It's lap one of 14. I don't want to make any enemies yet and I don't want to wreck early, but this NOS energy paint scheme, it's beautiful. And what's happening here? We're already going to the back. Denny Hamlin's come to partner up, partner up with us. Thankfully we didn't get no damage in that. I think the cars are a bit too tight at the minute, but we'll find out. David Reagan, oh, there we go. Up the inside of Reagan, we're almost below the yellow line. That's not intentional. We got damage on the rear now, but 13 to go. And we're up to 36 after one lap, but slot back in line. Cody Way, you didn't need to get on the brakes, mate. I get out of the throttle there, you just needed to stay behind the 17. Okay, Clint Boyer does not like Ricky Stenhouse Jr. I'll push you back up the trail. Okay, he's got Karen on his outside as well. Here we go. Oh, Clint Boyer, leave me alone, Clint. You don't need to be running into the back of me all the time or into the side of me. Okay, let's, let's get some drafting help here. It's Cody Ware. We're not really making the improvements or yeah, the improvements that we'd like to see in this race at the minute, but it's still a well it's still a long race anyway. You know, eleven laps or so a, a super speedway race. I mean as much as you go over two hundred mile an hour, which we we are we are over that, that speed. It still is a long time, or a lot can happen very quickly in that space of time. I'm not lifting off here because this could be a very fast lap. Let's go up the inside of the select blinds, number 38. As I nearly push him up the track a little, a, 30, a 44, 35. It's not me absolute best anyway. Oh, I did not mean to do that, Reagan. Nope. Oh, uh, okay, we're, we're all over the place. We've got Kurt, uh, Kurt Busch. No, it's Kevin Harvick. Oh, never mind. There we go. You can still stay behind and push me if you want, Kevin. we just not got the draft anymore because I'm pushing it to the inside. Give Tyler Reddick a bump. I didn't mean him to go up the track, but okay, he's not wanting to help me out at all. There's Landon Castle in the double zero, wanting to help me out. That's not bad, and a lap just about a tenth slower than what I did previously. Up to the inside of Palmenard with a bit of a bump, obviously. It wasn't intentional, but it was a bit of a bump. Now we're starting to motor on. Got all over the back of K uh, McMurray. Yeah, we're actually pushing down the back straight away. Yeah, the car's a bit tight. I don't know why might be to do with the wedge that I had changed it before the start of this race but 
making it three wide. McMurray wasn't happy with that, so he just muscles me out of, out of the way. Sorry, couldn't do nothing else there. If I turned any further to the inside, I would have wrecked myself. Yeah, the car's definitely tight. I'm not able to be pushed the way I should be. So how are you guys doing? Since we got a bit of breathing space down this back straight away. 208 mile an hour. Did I just see that right? Did that just say I was going 208 down the back straight away? Granted it's in a video game, but Jesus Christ. Uh, Suarez, I'm sorry. can't believe we're going over 200 mile an hour I mean has there been some improvements to this game lately I don't but I say no I don't know I don't do a lot of cup racing I'll be honest with you 210 210 before I get in, into the turn at turn 3 this has to be one of my best laps I'm going to have to do here it has to be it's Kyle Busch's car I can see here we go What's this going to be? Yes, even... Oh, no. I was going to say even quicker than what I did before, but no, it's not. As William Byron, I nearly said that. Jeff Gordon, well, the 24, he did have a paint scheme like that as we're over half the race over now. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that, Kyle. I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to get set a faster lap than I just did. Also guys, if you want to see, see me do some online stuff on Heat as I just clipped the apron on the inside of Amarola, but if you want to see me do some online stuff, I'll get a few friends to maybe get it and then we'll, we'll all get together and have a few races. See if that would do anything. I'm not really what a big fan of the dirt tar though, so it probably have to be like trucks and stuff, but, but I'll see if I can get people, you know, a group of people together to get the game and then I can do some videos with other people rather than just being me. And I might do the same with F1 2019 as well, to be fair. Right, we wasn't really... We've been side drafted by somebody there slightly. I think that might have been Chase Elliott, but if we wasn't travelling at 210 some mile an hour this time around, so it's going to be slower. Yeah, only by a tenth or so. Couple tenth. Oh, Chris Busher. Oh, yep. There's Jimmy Johnson. Some news about him today since it's November 20th. As of recording this, sorry. If you guys don't know the news, then I don't really know what to say to you. But then again, a lot of you don't probably follow as much as NASCAR as I do, so put it this way Jimmy Johnson's retiring at the end of 2020. It's sad to see him go. I, he's been uh, uh, one of the favourites of mine for a while. But anyway, we're up to P5. Up to P5. Um, and we're going 207 and a 44 1 again. 44 19, sorry. I'm going to be hung out to dry here around the outside. Yeah, saw that coming. I just thought somebody would have come up and helped. Maybe Austin Dillon wanted to step... Oh, there is a caution. Right, what's his wedge at? 50, that's why it's tight. It's a sort of norm, normally like a, just a normal standard setup. Um, who was it? Did somebody blow a tyre or something? I don't know. But, but anyway, we're going NASCAR overtime. So we go in overtime at Daytona. There's Blaney in front. If I can't win, I'm pushing him to the lead, but... But I'm, I'm pretty sure I want to try and win this. But we've got two laps to do it because we're restarting lap 14 out of 15. Two to go here at Daytona. Is our car going to have the same speed as we got, as we had in the latter part of that run before the caution? Well, I don't know. We're going to get any of the help that we need. Because Austin Dillon might... Oh, that's the apron. The apron, James. 
We've been left. Can I get some help here? What about you, Johnson? No, the 37 wants to come and help. I'll be happy for some support here. We're coming to the white flag. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be that Jones boy as well? I, I don't want to take anyone out of this race myself. But I just give him a little bit of a nudge to get past. Here we go. White flag is out at Daytona. Who's going to win the Daytona 500? Is it going to be me, Ryan Blaney? Hang on, is that Daniel Henry? That's not Austin Dillon, my apologies. It's not going to be me, I don't think, because I've just gone for the outside and nearly killed Ryan Blaney in it. But Eric Jones is wanting to help. If I can get these two side by side, that might help me out. No, I think Daniel Henrik's going to have it because I went to the outside. If we can get a good run off this final turn, compared to Henrik, we might be able to sneak up the ins No, Henrik's got it because Blaney's not on my bumper. It's going to be Daniel Henrik. Is it? Is it? I'm I can't go. I can't. There's nowhere to go. There's literally nowhere to go. Daniel Henrik wins the Daytona 500. And I finish in second. 105 speed rating, that's absolutely fantastic anyway. But um, yeah, I finished second. I mean, if I would have... I'll be honest with you. If I would have picked a different line on that white flag lap instead of going to the outside, or Blaney was on my bumper, that race would have been different. But um, yeah, anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. If you've liked it, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see maybe just a Cup Series season or where, where would you want to see me race next actually in the Cup Series, let me know. Let me know. If not, I'll just keep putting videos up either way. But let me know. You know, it's your choice. And I will see you guys in the next video. It might be NASCAR Heat 4. It might be something else. I don't know. But look at this NOS paint scheme. It's absolutely beautiful. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.